Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all you new subscribers and I appreciate all you guys that have been subscribed the whole time. I just want to say thank you right off the bat. All right. Today we are going to make flank steak pinwheels. All right. We're going to marinate our piece of flank steak. So let me get right to the ingredients you're going to need for our marinade. Uh, we've got soy sauce. We've got Worcestershire sauce. We have some olive oil. We have some red wine. I've got uh, lemon juice here. Uh, Dijon mustard. Garlic. It's minced garlic. Uh, pepper. And Italian seasoning. And the first thing you want to do, guys, is you're going to want to get a nice piece of flank steak. This is about... Uh, one and a half pounds you can get one between one and a quarter and one and a half pounds and uh, you want to go ahead and put it between some parchment paper fold your parchment paper over and use your mallet and thin this piece of meat out to about a half an inch in thickness all the way across I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now this is about what your meats gonna look like when you're finished try to pound it out into a you know nice rectangle and I got to tell you, uh, I'm going to be honest, you really are going to have to beat this meat good to get it to where you want it to be. So go ahead and, and now that you have it at a half an inch thickness, set it aside and we'll go ahead and make the marinade. Okay, we've got our ingredients ready for our marinade. And what we're going to need, guys, is a quarter cup of red wine. I'm using a um, Cabernet Sauvignon here. Uh, you're going to want to put in a quarter of a cup of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter cup of soy sauce. This is low sodium soy sauce, by the way. A uh, quarter cup of olive oil. There we go. Um, we have a quarter cup of, uh, I'm sorry, we've got a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I've got a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of uh, cracked black pepper. I'm sorry, that was not cracked black pepper. That was one full tablespoon of uh, dried Italian seasonings. We've got two tablespoons of garlic going in there. This is the half teaspoon of the black pepper. And we have two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice going in. Get yourself a fairly good sized uh, resealable bag and put your piece of flank steak inside the resealable bag. Once you've got your meat inside your bag, just go ahead and pour in your marinade right on top of it. I've worked our marinade into our meat as best as I possibly can in the bag. You can see what it looks like in here. I'll pick it up for you. Okay, so we got a nice marinade going. And now, go ahead and put this uh, in the fridge overnight. And uh, we'll start back working on this in the morning. All right, our meat has been in the fridge for about 18 hours. And as you can see, <clears throat> that marinade has uh, gotten in there and gotten into the crevices of our meat like we needed it to. It's actually cooked it a little bit from the acids. So we're gonna go ahead and work on the filling for our, our flank steak pinwheels. And what you're gonna need is some spinach, an onion, some garlic. We're gonna use blue cheese and we're gonna need some breadcrumbs. And remember guys, down below in the description, I give all the uh, amounts for the ingredients. And also I'll give you the directions for. Chop up uh, an onion. So you'll need about a fourth of a cup of onion. I'm going to use a food processor and I've got two tablespoons of garlic here. I'm going to put in here with the, with the onion. So this is almost going to, I'm going to chop this or process this until it becomes like a paste and then set this aside. So squeeze the water out of your spinach and chop it up. It's time to remove your meat from the bag. You're going to just discard the marinade. Uh, I'm going to use a couple sheets of uh, wax paper to pull my meat out on and apply the ingredients to the meat so I don't make a big mess. So go ahead and get you something to put down 
so you don't make a mess when you pull your meat out. All right, there's our meat. I've got it spread out as much as possible. We're gonna roll this lengthwise. So set your meat to in that orientation, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use our little onion paste here. And if you can't get your onions chopped this fine, you know, with your garlic, it's not a big deal, guys. Go ahead and just use um, chopped onions and then mince your garlic up, spread through your garlic first. So we'll go ahead and put this over our meat and we'll move on. That's what it looks like um, when it's spread over the top of your meat. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply this fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs over the meat as well. All right, there's our layer of breadcrumbs on top of the uh, onion garlic paste. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply our spinach, layer of our spinach to this. All right, there's our layer of spinach, and our last layer is going to be some blue cheese crumbles. You can use feta if you'd like. I like the blue cheese. I just prefer the taste of it. So we'll go ahead and apply a generous layer <laughs> of the blue cheese. You're going to need about a half a cup of this guy. And there is our layer of blue cheese, and like I said, you could use feta. Now, here comes the really hard part, guys. Um, I've got some little toothpicks here they're actually cooking skewers you can use twine if you need to to uh, truss this up but we're gonna go ahead and take our piece of meat here and we're gonna roll it up as best we can and uh, use our toothpicks or use the twine to hold it in place I'll show you what that looks like when it's done all right there is our roll up and there are the ingredients that got pushed out we're gonna go ahead and I see I've skewered this with the little skewers we're gonna put this in a baking dish alright there it is it's in our little glass dish and got the oven set at 350 degrees gonna go ahead and pop it in there for about an hour maybe an hour and 20 minutes we want the internal temperature of that to be about 145 degrees alright our flank steak pinwheel is done here. Gonna pull this out. All right, we are about 150. We're gonna let this go ahead and rest. We'll let it sit for about five, six minutes. Let the juices reacquire back into the meat, and then we'll go ahead and cut some of this up and see what it tastes like, guys. All right, guys, there it is. That's the flank steak pinwheel. And we've got some asparagus here wrapped in bacon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this. It's all falling apart on me. It's hard to do this with one hand. The blue cheese and the spinach are incredible with that flank steak. You can get the marinade from the flank steak. It's fantastic. I gotta go guys, I gotta go eat. Listen, give this a try. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember the directions and all the ingredients are down there as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in a couple days.